permanently sick because of a rubbish-filled pond under their house. Question number seven, Jamie Lee Ross. Uh, Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Transport and asks, does the National Land Transport Programme announced last week give New Zealand road users good value for the road user charges and fuel taxes they are paying? The Hon. Phil Twyford. Yes, the National Land Transport Programme is a record investment in our transport system, including a 37 per cent increase in road safety spending to save lives, a $600 million increase in road funding to the regions, $5.7 billion for state highways, including Puhoi to Wellsford, Mount Messenger, Manawatu Gorge replacement and Transmission Gully. And, Mr Speaker, $4 billion to ease congestion in our major cities. How is it good value for people in Tauranga to pay 12 cents more in fuel taxes but not receive the much-needed four-laning of State Highway 2, New Zealand's deadliest road? Well, I'm sure the member knows that um, that, that road suffered from terrible neglect over nine years. This government is undertaking, through the New Zealand Transport Agency, an, a re-evaluation of the plans for that highway. But we recognise that it's not good enough, that, that nothing was done to that road while suburbs were allowed to expand along that corridor towards Omokoroa. It needs investment in safety improvements, and under this government it will get them. How is it good value for the people of Otaki to pay 12 cents a litre more in fuel taxes when they're less likely to get the Otaki to live in expressway completed, as the Prime Minister actually promised in the, in the media? Well, the people of Otaki and Levin, like communities all over this country, are going to benefit from a more rational and measured transport policy that invests in safety improvements, passing lanes, median barriers, side barriers, intersection upgrades, because we're concerned to improve safety and save lives across thousands of kilometres of the transport network, not just a few dozen kilometres, which was the policy of the former government. Will the tram projects in Auckland that he's been championing be funded from revenue gain from fuel taxes? Well, the uh, light rail rapid transit project in Auckland will not be funded uh, through the regional fuel tax, as the, as the member has consistently claimed through the media. But $1.8 million, uh, $1 billion has been set aside as part of the $28 billion 10-year transport investment plan that this government put together in cooperation with Auckland Council. The first time there has ever been a fully funded 10-year transport plan for Auckland. Why should people in Tauranga and Otaki pay 12 cents a litre more in fuel taxes to fund Auckland trams when his government won't commit to funding much needed roads in those communities? Well, no amount of baseless scaremongering from the member can change the fact that under our transport plan, we're putting $600 million more into roading in the regions than, than is going into the six biggest metropolitan centres, a bigger increase than we ever saw under the former government. Question number eight, the Honourable Michael Woodhouse. My question is to the Minister of Health.